Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Gonzo Ewok channel with me Gonzo and me Ewok and today we are playing day 10 episode possibly 8 I've, I've lost, I've lost track yeah, we've, lost we've, we've spent some time in solitary unfortunately yeah uh, so this is the, where I never thought that there may be a problem of naming them the episodes after days rather than episode numbers yeah um, because of the time that you could potentially send in solitary I suppose I'll try and figure out how to make it clear by the time you've seen this we'll have worked something out so it shouldn't be that much of a concern so yeah a bit of a disaster I mean I lost a lot of decent gear and spent some time in solitary and oh, now I need a new screwdriver yeah we're going to have to try and get ourselves get back, back into, into the, the vents, vents and all oh. What a nightmare, what a nightmare. Um, you've still got that bed dummy in there, that's probably something that you should shift. I, I said, oh, bloody hell, I thought they would have confiscated that. Oh, they've cleared out all of your gear as well, look, out of the, uh, behind the poster. Oh, really? Yeah, filled in the hole as well, Jesus, we're back to square one here, dude. But they didn't fill the hole in itself. No, no, the hole must be filled in because no, wasn't. no, they didn't. They didn't fill the hole in the wall. All oh, right, yeah, they've just they've pushed your post out of the way. They've seen that you've got this little hidden corridor, um, and then took all your gear. Oh, um, what an absolute nightmare! So really, we are sort of pretty much yeah. yeah and the fixed event. So all all we're doing is basically we're starting again from scratch, apart from we've already got a little hidey hole there with the poster. Or if it's the case that we're starting from scratch, should we go for the easy exit and then come back with the... <laughs> I think so, yeah. And uh, then we'll we'll come back and do the, the minimum security. Yeah, this gives uh, one the, on the, the mid-security prison. Yeah, that's a little ten-part mini-series just to see how we get on. We need to get an escape under our belt and then we'll come back and see what we're going we're gonna to achieve. So, we're now going to skip the legendary ending and look for busting out. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get out of there. Uh, so I'm going to need some cash... I need some cash. I've got no weapon. I've got, I've got nothing. Oh, all my favours have disappeared as well. Yeah. Well, you have been locked up for, what, three days? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I know it's not my cell, and I don't care. He doesn't care either. He just bug it off. Uh, I'll take a comb. I'll we'll make a weapon out of that. I seem yeah. to have lost quite a bit of health as well. Yeah, they're getting weaker in there, so aren't we, dude? Nothing to do. But sit and fap. Yeah, I know it's not my cell. Yeah, he wasn't uh, particularly happy about that. <laughs> just while you're on the run from the guards, just fashioning a, a little uh, little prison shank. A little corn blade, yeah. Trevor. <laughs> Poor Beat Trevor. up Trevor. I wonder if he's... Uh, oh, no, he still hasn't got any clothes on. He just wants his mints. That's all he wants. Can you find us a packet of mints? No, but I can shank you. I can and will shank you. Poor sword. I kind of feel sorry for Trevor. Yeah. Ah, I know what I can do. What are you thinking? Well, I can get like knives and spoons from the kitchen. And I mean they're terrible. Yeah, they're plastic. Uh, no, I'm not going to mess with the officer. You can uh, lie on those sun loungers as well. Can you? Yeah. Can I just click on them? There you go. <laughs> sunbathe. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they are plastic. Plastic forks. I think I can cut through the fence with plastic knives. Probably not. Well, let's well, give they, it a try. They have got like a percentage attached to them. So they have got durability. <laughs> Is this going to be the escape? What did, it, what did it reduce it by? It's doing it by 8%, I think. I don't know. Four percent. That might um, be enough. It's actually super durable as well, considering you're cutting through like maximum. Well, I'm saying maximum security. You're cutting through a metal fence with a plastic. A form. minimum security metal fence. So this is what happens when you lose patience with a minimum security. I prison. wonder if this. I was is, having um, fun in prison. Well, we've had enough. You know, we're playing the game with the guards. The guards had to go and spoil it. So, this is what happens. Yeah. This See is you what later. Happened. City and, prison, and this will explain how we're going to end up in a uh, in a, a moderate security, security prison. prison yeah. We we'll put him in a minimum security prison. He created a stash of contraband. We took it away, so he just left. You could do is it. This actually going to work. It looks like it. Nobody is bothering to come out. This this is what the guide said. Because some, some, I mean, they didn't, they didn't I'm say sure that plastic something that will be fixed. They will reduce the durability of plastic forks, surely. I don't know what it is, like, uh, the minimum of security prison. It's probably plastic wiring. 
I'm oh, too fatigued. Go and have a shower and then just come and finish it off. All you're going to do is lose your job, but it doesn't matter because you're going to go back to your job as a criminal at large <laughs> very shortly. So uh, get rinsed. I wonder what he did to get here. We've mentioned this before. We said it's a minimum security prison. We said so that probably you, didn't see you basically there. had some sort of like um, Manson style compound um, out in the desert. Yeah. I, I still think it must have been an administrative error because um, he's, he's, a clearly, he's clearly a psychopath. He's just went around shanking everyone in sight. Oh, well, there we go. All right, guys. Um, see you later. <laughs> 94 minutes of playtime. You've okay. escaped centre perks. There we go. That wasn't bad going at all. Really, kind of brought the video to a, a bit of a sharp a bit, a bit of a, a bit of an abrupt conclusion. But yeah, yeah. Um, once I found out how easy it was to escape from that place on the guide, I, I, I admit it did take a little bit of the luster off the idea of going about this big elaborate plan. However, um, we're not done with this game. No, far and from it. When you come back, we will be on First Peaks Correctional Facility. Nice. Which is a lot harder to escape from, I imagine. Cool. And it doesn't have a stupid bloody door in the, the interior of the wall, so mm -hmm. that shouldn't happen again. Nice. But there we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little sort of mini experience of The Escapist. I hope you come back and consider watching uh, watching us when we do First Peaks. It should be a little bit more interesting. Indeed, that is very true. Um, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Thank you for watching.